Welcome to another Textonation interview. Joining us is Sadie Toma, Director of U.S. Creative Partnerships at Google. Thank you for joining us, Sadie. Thanks for having me. Well, you've been tallying up the popularity of the Super Bowl commercials that were viewed on Google. Tell us what you found. Well, we have been monitoring the searches. We've been monitoring the ads and seeing a lot of interesting activity on both fronts, as usual. Um, you know, in terms of just talking about the ads, we saw a lot of different approaches. Um, of course, humor, of course, celebrities, of course, brands going big. Um, we saw the top ads from yesterday and from last night as uh, basically the number one was Amazon Alexa's body with Michael B. Jordan. Uh, very funny about Alexa's new redesign. Number two, the Jeep ad called The Middle uh, with Bruce Springsteen talking about, you know, the reunited states of America. Number three, Cadillac, which was uh, Edgar Scissorhands, Edward Scissorhands' son driving um, in the Lyric, which was, he was driving scissor hands-free, a uh, new feature on that car with Timothy Chalamet. And then, of course, um, we saw a lot of buzz around Uber Eats with Wayne's World and Cardi B, and Paramount Plus ran several spots in the game. We saw Expedition come up in the top five. So those are sort of rounding up the top five in terms of ads. We have all the ads posted on youtube.com slash adblitz. In case you missed one, in case you want to watch them again and again and share them out. Besides the ads, you keep track of other things, what people were searching for during the game. Yes. Of course, people during the Super Bowl are always searching for the teams, and they're searching for the players. So we see a lot of activity around searching for the players in particular. The most searched players during the game, number one, Tom Brady. No surprise there, knowing he is uh, considered the GOAT, and also this was his 10th Super Bowl, obviously seventh win. Uh, number two, Patrick Mahomes. Also a ton of activity around him. Of course, he's, um, he's being called the next great. And then number three was the Gronk, Rob Gronkowski, who uh, tight end for the Bucks, who caught two touchdowns last night uh, from Tom Brady, obviously former teammate of Brady. And so the players are always being searched for. Uh, we saw some interesting questions also searched for during the game. People were wondering why the Super Bowl was delayed. That was a big question that was uh, that we saw activity around, which we think that has to do with there was a little bit of a late start or maybe streaming lag. But there was also a fan who ran out during the game onto the field, so that did delay it quite a bit. Uh, another trending question is Giselle at the Super Bowl. People were very eager to find that out. Yes, she was. Um, and then another interesting question, how much do Super Bowl refs make? Uh, so that people were interested in how much, you know, a ref makes to, to, to be there and officiate for the Super Bowl. And, uh, and then related to that, of course, who is the female ref in the NFL? That, uh, that question spiked over 2,000% in the first half. And, of course, that's Sarah Thomas as the first female ref uh, in a Super Bowl. Don't know if you have the figures to compare, but was there more activity with searches online this year than in the past, or, or perhaps less? Um, seems to be about the same this year. And what was interesting that we do have an interesting stat on is that uh, viewership of Super Bowl ads on YouTube during the game rose more than 70% on TV screens uh, from last year. In other words, people are watching YouTube on their TV screens. Uh, in the living room. So that's a big, that is a big jump. That's an interesting stat as more and more people are streaming. There were some big names that opted not to do the Super Bowl ads this year. Uh, tell us what you found, though. Was there still as much interest in the commercials as there has been in the past? Still a ton of interest. Um, there always is. And, you know, it's interesting because, yes, some of the big names didn't necessarily have you know, ads in the actual game. But we also realized that there's a lot of advertisers that do sort of a surround around the game, even though they don't have a spot in the actual TV broadcast, they create ads that play on YouTube that are shared out in, you know, online and digitally um, showing that you can still get a lot of activity and buzz around your ads, even if you're not in the big game. Um, so, you know, there's different strategies that different brands take, but when big brands like uh, Coca-Cola or Budweiser, um, you know, give up some of their, or decide not to, to be in the game. It also opens up the door for 
some new to Super Bowl uh, advertisers, and we saw several first timers. Well, where is it that people can go to to take a look at these ads once again? Yes, youtube.com slash adblitz. And we have every teaser, every ad there. Check them out. Watch them again. Share them with your friends. Um, We'll be checking out uh, adblitz for the next week or so. And then on February 15th, we're going to announce the top top um, once we've sort of got a little more data in. And we'll be able to declare the best ads from the Super Bowl, the most viewed ads from the Super Bowl. We'll be looking forward to that. Sadie Toma, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Thank you for having me. Now this. It takes a lot of listening to build a better radio. And that's just what the folks at Sea Crane have done. Bob Crane and his crew, nestled among the rivers and tallest trees in the world in Fortuna, California, have made a habit of listening to their customers. And that's just what they've done in building the CC Skywave SSB, the Swiss Army knife of portable radios. For everyday listening to AM or FM in the yard or patio or on the nightstand, without having to drain a mobile phone battery, it's a great companion. But it is also a companion equipped for NOAA weather information and alerts that can be life-saving. You can listen to FEMA and Coast Guard transmissions, too. Beyond all of that, you can tune into shortwave signals from around the world. It's compact, easy to take with you, and built to last. The CC Skywave SSB. Click on the link at textonation.com.